Good morning, brothers and sisters. God bless you. Oh, it's a frosty cold morning. I passed out last night when I got home. I wasn't feeling good. I crashed out hard. My body said, nope, you're going to bed. And I slept. Rest is good. It allows you to replenish and re-energize. So does prayer. It re-energizes your soul. When we see things for what they really are, veil that is removed from our eyes, or scales in Paul's case. Paul was persecuting early Christians, vehemently persecuting them, chasing them down and searching them out, and arresting them. And Jesus Christ struck him blind for persecution of his children. What do you think is going to happen to these that are doing it now? God's going to deal with them in his own way. The difference is, is allowing God to deal with them and not yourself. Because believe me, persecution is coming. We've only seen tastes of them. We haven't seen the real persecution yet. Because we are offensive to the world. Because we are the light in a dark place. And the more darker this place becomes, the more brighter our light is going to shine. Do not be afraid to be the light in a dark place. Do not be afraid to live a glorious life in Christ. Not perfect, but glorious. When things go good, when things go bad, we praise God. When we have brothers and sisters who are battling issues, medically, physical, financial, we are to lift them up to God. If we can't physically help, try to help find them help. Not ignore their needs. That's the problem. Too many people ignore their brothers and sisters' needs because they're too focused on their own issues and their own life. Greater love have no man than this, except that he lay down his life for his fellow man. Those are Jesus' words, guys. Not mine. When we understand that our love should not be directed at ourselves first, but others first, and Christ first and foremost, things change in our heart. And we become better and, and more open for Christ's missions. But God sees it. Not as an attaboy for yourself, but God sees it as, look at what you've done to this man. This is what my creation is doing. I am grateful that you did this. Because if we don't, then we're just destroying the witness. Your hands be on their life. Your hands in control. 